Miles is my boy, so no disrespect to him. This argument is bullshit. At the end of the day, the logic that I would I want a racist with his finger on the trigger than someone who may be racist and I don't know. Like that's in, that's the craziest shit. It's like saying I want a gun to my face, then maybe there's a possibility someone might drive by and shoot me. Nah, I don't want either, right? At the end of the day, a lot of, especially black men that come from the hood in a certain demographic age group are still shell-shocked. They, 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 they hide their misogyny and their bigotry behind this illusion that they're intellectuals because they succeeded, right? Second of all, they secretly voted for Trump, but because of his bigotry and his misogyny, but ended up losing. And now they want to say, hey, Biden's just as bad. And they all like to go back to criminal justice reform bill from the 1990s. But these are the same people that believe that they can be reformed. These are the same people that believe second chances exist. And, but Biden doesn't get a second chance for making a mistake with a criminal justice bill as if he could have done it by himself, as if he was the president. I, I, I find this to be very, very, very disingenuous. I, I, I find this to be very, very, very disingenuous. I'm going through an uh, experience that I'm gonna to try to have y'all walk through with me to show you how we have to deal with health as gentlemen, you know, uh, egoless people, to understand that as human beings, you should be able to disagree, agree to disagree, or you should be able to, to disagree, have different opinions, uh, have different mind states, understand that you may have different upbringings, that you just may be different. Uh, Nowadays, no matter how you feel or what you say, people one way or the other is not gonna like it and most likely try to, if they disagree with you, you're gonna be the wrong person. So I'm gonna take this time out to show you because we all in this together. It's not just about uh, physical health. It's also about spiritual health, your mental health, and just all around good energy health. See, now, I did an interview with Torre. And we discussed my opinion on politics on that interview. In that interview, we discussed my, my personal opinion on politics, how I view things. Key words, I. How I view things, how I feel about things, the things that I like. Now, a longtime friend of mine, longtime friend, Jacob York. He played the video of it and then gave his opinion on the things that I said and went into however he felt. Cool, Jacob York, longtime friend, connected with Biggie, well, a great business mind, a man that I respect. But in the video, he chose to call me disingenuous. I've been called a lot of things in my life. I've never been called disingenuous, so Normally, the old me would have got mad. I didn't even get mad, you know, because that's if that's his opinion. That's how he feels. So I didn't even choose to get mad. But here's how I choose to see. See, Tore asked me about the presidency. See how Jacob put the video like I choose Trump over Biden. I said I prefer Trump over Biden because I like to deal with my racism straight up. I prefer to know what's exactly going on the people sleeping. That's my opinion. That's how I feel. That's how I would do it. Whether it's politics, real life, on the corner, I prefer the guy that's straight up racist over the sneaky racist. And here's why I said it. I try to explain to people, when Trump was in office, you spoke about racism with your white coworker, right? You spoke about racism at the barbershop. You knew your enemy was there. See, we've been going, whether whether you have a loud racist or a quiet racist, they both racist. Now, you may like the silent racist. I may like the loud racist. I like to know my enemy. Like, I, I just kind of, 
I don't want to sleep. Now, now, when you think about the last four years we went through, we don't say nothing but Biden is sleepy and that's, you know, whatever. But we don't really talk politics anymore. Your white co-workers don't come to you talking about racism no more. You're not in a barbershop talking about racism. You know why? Because it's the quiet racism and you're getting rocked to sleep. But we are here nor there because we might disagree on that too. And that is okay. But if you have a difference of opinion, it doesn't allow you to call me disingenuine because you don't agree with my opinion. Now, if you were to listen to the whole interview, Jacob York, which, which I said is somebody who's older than me, who I admire, who's done business with, business with Biggie, all of the greats, right? He didn't mention the part to you that said, I don't fuck with the red side or the blue side. Now I'm gonna get crucified for that. When he asked me, did I vote? I told him not, because I couldn't vote for each one of them. I told him my last vote was Obama's second term, and I couldn't vote after that. Now somebody's gonna tell me what poison to pick, and I told him, because I can't pick the better poison, I'm the type to fast. And then I also said, the people should run the government, and not the government run the people. So he neglected to say a bunch of things that I did say. The reason I said I prefer Trump is I just said I like to see my enemy coming. I like the guy who, who you know, who's rather straight up about it. You may feel different and that is okay. But for that, I've been called disingenuous. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take it personal, Jacob, cause I love you, I got a lot of respect for you. I got, you know, we got history, you work with Big, you're one of the first great business minds I've seen. But here's what I challenge you to do, right? You disagree with my political worldly view. Then if you would've went to the, I told you, if you'd have went further down the interview, you would have seen me say, I didn't vote for either one of them because I couldn't. See, you may be a pick the poison type of guy. I'm the fast type of guy. That's how we are. But let's let's get, you're, you're older than me, so you should be wiser than me. And we have to teach those who are younger than us how to handle themselves. See, social, I, I disagree with a lot of things people say, but I'm not narcissistic enough to call you a name when we disagree like you know what i'm saying that's 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 not my style like if we disagree we disagree that's where i've gotten to i'm at that point in my life but here's what i say here's what i say to anybody who you know you choose to not believe what i believe i choose to not believe what you believe it's okay but i challenge you to do better than me I challenge you to do better than me. See, the thing about me is, you may not like what I say. I don't fuck with Trump. I don't fuck with the Democrats. I don't fuck with the Republicans. See, somebody's gonna be mad at that, but it's the truth. I told them it's two, uh, two wings on the same bird. They go to the same clubs, hang out at the same place, do the same thing. Now, somebody's gonna get mad at me because I said that and tell me to pick a side, pick the poison. Like I said, I'm not picking the poison, I'm gonna fast. I also said I'm not wise enough to figure out what the solution is, but the people should run the government and not the government run the people. But that's where we at. So with that being said, I also challenge you. I challenge anybody, I challenge everybody because I wouldn't mind losing this challenge. Here's a challenge that I challenge you. I challenge you to do better than me. I challenge you to do better than me. See, you could call up the man and ask him, Hey, did you just have a meeting with um, P last week talking about the community center for the kids? Yup. You can call up my man and say, yo, is Styles P the reason the parks are being upgraded in my town? He's gonna say, yup. You can ask people, we like to give shit out. There was just a book bag drive and the people that I'm connected to and work with, uh, I'm doing a food drive with the Y pretty soon we're gonna make it plant-based but we're doing that see i challenge you to do better than me before you call me a name i challenge you to help people out every day before you call me a name i challenge you to make that a lifestyle i've been i've been preaching health for 13 14 maybe longer than that years i challenge you to that to get up and help people out every day you can call me what you want to call me we can disagree with things, but I get up and help people every day. And if you really want to join the challenge, come join me helping people. 
You got the power, you got the connection. You ain't never called me the past few years and say, Pete, how can I help you help the people? See, before you keep challenging and talking about people, you can't let social media get to your mind. See, I love all of y'all. It's a lot of energy to take on everybody's opinions, thoughts, vibrations, the things they going through every day. It's a challenge. And we don't all have to agree with each other because we're not supposed to. Don't let these devices teach you that everybody has to think like you, be like you, agree with you. That is not the case. That is not the case. We are all different for a reason. Now, even if you don't like the differences, you should still be able to conduct yourself in a gentleman's manner. Manners make it men. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to call each other names. Like, there's people I disagree with every day. I don't have the... I'm in a mentally... I'm not healed, I'm working on healing. But I'm in a mentally good enough place to know I don't know what's going on in that person's life to call them a name. Luckily, I'm in a great place and I just want to challenge you to do better than me.